and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time amp pedal show. My name is Kapoor. Hey, welcome. <laughs> nice. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this Meteor 2 today from Joyo. See what it does. It's obviously um, petite. Yes. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Ding the bell. All the good stuff. Comments below. Yes, yes, yeah, please do. And I just want to mention right from the start, this was sent to us by the good folks at Joyo. So this is a uh, Joyo-full sponsored video, as you would call it. Oh, I see what you did there. Totally Joyo-full. All right. Uh, so what is the Meteor 2 Bandtamp XL by Joyo, you ask, Alex? Sure. <laughs> So basically, Joya has the Bantamp series, mm. which is these sort of mini amps. I mean, it's small. You can see it's not, not large. You know, this is my hand. It's small, um, which were quite successful. And they do basically their versions, small, smallified versions of smallified. smallified of classic amps. Now this is the Meteor, and as you can see, the Or is a different color to the Meti. There's meaty and ore is a different color, which hints towards it being kind of like an orange. Meaty orange. It's cryptic, and it? It's very cryptic. Um, so it's a small amp. There's a preamp tube in it. Uh, it comes shipped with a um, foot switch that lets you channel switch. Uh, it also has a little antenna in the back um, so you can connect your phone or iPad via Bluetooth and play backing tracks along. You also have an effect loop in the back. We currently have uh, the sidekick. You can maybe just see it here. <laughs> but crazy tube circuits plugged into it for some reverb delay and modulation. Uh, speaker out. Uh, and what's the last one? Headphones. Headphones. Is it headphones? Headphones yes. out. And we're going to do uh, that later on in video as well because it's got a frequency compensated speaker simulation on it. So we'll check later on what that sounds like for d direct recording and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And pretty straightforward, two channels. You've got a little power switch here. You've got uh, the channel switch there. This is your Bluetooth switcher on the own offerer, but we don't do that at the moment. Uh, change the channels, the light goes up. You've got volume tone and gain, or gain volume tone, whichever way you look at it. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. So, well, the cabs, you're gonna hear from a two nose torpedo cab to X. Other than that, it's just the amp and the little pedal in the loop. Yeah. That's how it's all set up. Um, clean tone from the sire. Oh, we're on the clean tone. We're on the clean channel. So that's that is a clean tone. Clean tone. And there's a video for that sire, the um, L7, up here. Um, yeah, it's all the controls up. At Twelve o'clock. So how about so. you play our noodle? Sure, noodle on. Noodle on. doesn't crunch up much it's well it's a clean channel it's very very clean it's yeah it's it a clean channel so, so if you want a, a nice clean channel what about like there somewhere that's sort of maybe good keeps it clean good for pedals so actually speaking of pedals we have the tsx overdrive but does atronics which is a tube screamer style pedal see how it takes an overdrive let's yeah. engage that maybe at sure. some stage. let's find a clean sound you like and then engage <laughs> more crunch or keep it really clean let's keep it pretty clean so like that that's yeah. good you happy with that okay so let's go gain at about 12 o'clock ts style pedal You can watch the uh, TSX video up here. Um, so it's just a TS10 style with a few extra modifications on it. Yeah. Uh, takes the pedal. Sounds great, actually. It's cool. It's quite good. So that's, that's a very clean channel. Should we check it's out the clean. dirty channel? Yeah, this is where the fun happens. Yeah. The red light goes on. That means rock and roll. That means rock and roll. Yeah. Let's just have it at 12 o'clock, and then later on, let's use the Tube Screamer again to sure. kazungify it. <laughs>
nailed it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, I mean, that's a good that's a good sound. I think Actually, with that with that kind of guitar, turn up yep. the tone a little bit just to brighten it up a little. Let's do the two screamer thing, and I'll do the thing where we turn the gain all the way down, Yo. turn the volume up pretty high, almost all the way up, and adjust the tone to taste. Tasty. So let's see what that sounds like. bits of the all the effects on that's a good sound let me 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 where did i put my pick let me have a go well i guess this pick let me let me have a go uh so this is the uh vander caster god i can't even think of what guitar it is the vander caster uh so it is a vander guitar's body and all carbon or now would be called kiesel neck i'd floating around so mr glenn's pickups the cloud nine in a bridge and a tui tui in the neck Think sort of Demasia Super Distortion, but with more clarity, mid-focused, and quite a high output sort of Strat style neck pickup, and the absolutely awesome Vega Trem. So let's start off. Should we start off on a clean? Same settings that you had. Yo. I'll start off on a neck on the clean channel, and it sounds like this. Ah. Oh. No, it doesn't. It sounds like this. Give me some reverb from the sidekick. some delay. So volume all the way up, gain all the way down, tone at about two o'clock, tube screamer. <laughs> Sidekick again. That sounds great. Let's boost again on the amp itself. Yep. It's a good 
sound. It's a very thick, fuzzy, like, if I go single coil, we, so... I, I don't think either of us had a lot of experience with orange no. amps in the past. I would like uh, to, but... but yeah, that sounds good. I would like to, if it sounds like that, <laughs> I would like to try some but orange amps. More orange. Yeah. Uh, with the single coils, it kind of has this thick, fuzzy single note thing, which is kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> It is kind of fuzzy. It's fuzzy, but it's still got some note definition going on. You know what it kind of reminds me of? A rat. Just about to say the same thing. Do you think it reminds us (laughs) of a rat? Do you think it reminds me of a rat? That's a weird thing to say. (laughs) All right, uh, I'm going to use this now. My Carbon, it would be, again, called Kiesel now, but Carbon from back in the days. Uh, And I put some Fishman Fluence Modern pickups in it. Big thank you to Ken Susie and everyone at Fishman for them. And same settings... Uh, in drop C tuning as well, in the there's two voicings, the, the voicing one, I guess let's call it. Uh, drop C tuning sounds like it. Let's try again, Tube Screamer or TSX Overdrive with Dazzatronics. Volume all the way up, gain all the way down. Tone, let's maybe go down a little bit with the tone. Uh, one o'clock ish. <laughs> Well, that sounds like. Uh, all right, so that's it. That's the Joyo Bandtemp XL Meteor Range 2. Two. <laughs> not one, not three, no. but two. Hey, what do you guys think? Leave yeah. the comments below. Do you have one of these? Do you have other uh, ones in the series? I think this is the first one I've tried in the series. I've... Have I tried I on may one? have tried. I may have tried. I don't know if you have, but I may have tried the, the Mesa Boogie style one. The Zombie? Is it Zombie? MB? Oh, uh, yeah. Zombie? Um, I'd be keen to try some more. They're yeah. uh, quite cool. Um, especially for like recording tones where you just want another flavour to, to layer guitar tones. Yeah. be really cool for that. Also yeah. jamming. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not... Especially if you want pristine cleans, I don't think it goes super loud for pristine cleans to then use your pedals on top of it. But, I mean, as a, as a, just a jam along at home, it goes very quiet. So you can, you know, if you live in apartments and stuff like that, yeah. it goes very quiet. For recording as well, you just stick a microphone in front of it, uh, in front of the speaker, or do a like a two notes two notes style thing. Or as long as you have any kind of um, uh, load box, you yeah. can just go into a software speaker simulation sort of thing. So, I think they're really cool little amps. I like them. It's a cool tone. Yeah, it's sturdy uh, too. Does it sound like an actual orange? We don't know. We don't have one eight bit, but it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't sound cool. That's kind of more of a question. It has a good. Great sort of rhythm guitar sound. Yeah. I think it's a nice good. note definition too. Yeah. Hey, uh, please check out links to, uh, down below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. That'd be awesome. Please do. Please do. And uh, thanks again for hanging. Cheers. Been awesome. See ya.